Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX and thanks for joining me for a very quick video today. Uh, today we're going to look at how to add the digital toes reflector for D-Star uh, onto your Pi-Star based hotspot. Now this is not new information, I know that uh, Jim and uh, Steve covered this in Hamlet's last week, but it's a fair way through the video. Uh, so if you can't find it, this video will just be nice and quick and get you uh, back onto uh, their reflector uh, in only a few minutes time. So I'm gonna hop over onto the computer and I'm gonna open up uh, Chrome, which is my browser of choice. Uh, I'm gonna navigate to my um, my hotspot, which I was for mine today, it's picked the IP address of 192.168.0.100. Yours may be different. There are plenty of applications to find uh, where your, or what the IP addresses are on your network. Um, I use a nice one on Mac called Landscan, uh, but that's just what I happen to use. Uh, so here we can see uh, my uh, dashboard. So this is my Zumspot. I actually have a couple of hotspots. I've done this on one already. I've not done it on my Zumspot just yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. So first thing I'm gonna do is hop into configuration. Uh, it's the standard pi-start and raspberry password, unless you've changed it. Uh, I haven't, so mine's still Raspberry. Next I'm going to hop into is Expert, and then SH, SSH Access. So now it's going to ask us to log in again. So again, we want PyStar, and password, uh, once again, Raspberry, unless you've changed it. So the first thing um, we're going to do is going to make sure that we're uh, read-write enabled. Uh, by default, they don't, uh, by default, PyStar launched in as read-only. So by running the command rpi-rw, we'll make sure you've got read-write access. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, and this is perhaps not the recommended thing to do, but I'm gonna do a sudo su. So what that means is I'm gonna become a super user for every action from here on in. By hitting enter, we can see we're now at root at pystar. Uh, the next thing we're going to, need to do is navigate to our root directory. So I'm going to do a change directory and I'm going to go uh, make sure I get this right. I'm going to go slash root. Now we can do a list uh, by doing ls and we can see all of the uh, files within there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nano and I want d extra and what's helpful here is you hit the tab button it will auto fill the rest of that in for you and click enter. So now we've got this nice uh, nano interface. So all I'm gonna do down here is add in the correct details for uh, XRF546. So I do XRF546. I'm gonna hit tab twice, which takes us over there. I'm gonna type in here is XRF546 dot toads.site. I'm going to hit enter there. Uh, now we're going to do a control X. I'm going to hit Y for yes. I'm going to keep the same uh, you are going to keep the same file name. That's really important because that's how DStar knows to look there. And now I'm going to do a reboot within the terminal. You could clear out of that and go into the configuration and then reboot it there. Or you could simply pull power and plug it back in. Uh, I just find it easier to reboot from the terminal. That's all you'll need to do, to be honest with you. Um, the easiest way to then get onto the Toad Reflector is to hop onto your uh, radio. So I have the ID52. Uh, I've set it up uh, for link to XRF 546 Alpha. If I hit the PTT, I'll get the command back. Link to XRF 546 Alpha. So there we go. I'm ready to use XRF 546 Alpha, uh, which of course is linked through to DMR and also System Fusion via that Toads reflector. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. 73. Bye bye.